Alrighty, so hey you guys. So today we are going to be talking about soul ties. And the reason why we're going to be talking about soul ties is because a lot of times we get into these situations or these relationships and, you know, we really don't know what a soul tie is or how to identify these soul ties. You know, sometimes you're not even in a relationship. Sometimes you may have never even met the person, you know, physically, but, you know, you probably met them online and there is some strange, weird, um, euphoric type of connection that you're feeling with this person. So we're going to just pretty much jump right into it. So in my opinion, a soul tie is these connections that you create with someone. But um, when you can create these connections, these connections are different, you know. And so, you know, everybody be talking about, oh, you know, I don't got no feelings towards this person. I'm just kicking it with them. No, there is no such thing as that. All right. These soul ties, although these connections that you're creating may not seem, um, they may not seem spiritual, but they are very much so spiritual. All right. These are intimate connections that you're making with people and every time you know you you form these soul ties these spiritual and emotional relationships then you just give a piece of your soul away to the person that you form these connections to so every time you lay with someone and have an intimate connection or every time you just have these emotional connection with someone you lose a piece of your soul to those people you ever seen yourself like <clears throat> you ever been um, dealing with someone or you haven't dealt with them in a while and then you notice that their characteristics are showing up in some of the things that you're doing? Okay, that's because you created a soul tie with that person, you know, or you, this person, you ain't even thinking about, you. this person is far from your mind and all of a sudden something, uh, some kind of strong, intense type of feeling comes up about this person. You know, that means that you have created a soul tie with these individuals, all right? And so don't think that you didn't create a soul tie. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I didn't create no soul ties because I I, I, I was just doing this and I was just doing that. No, you created a soul tie. Everyone on this earth has created a soul tie. All right. And some soul ties, they may be stronger than others. Have you out here acting all crazy? You don't know why you acting a certain way. You don't know why you, you know, doing certain things. And that's because that, that soul tie is one of those soul ties that are so strong and have you out of your normal, you know, having you outside of yourself doing things that you never would have thought that you would did would have did, you know. And some soul ties, they so strong, they will influence and manipulate you into doing certain things and you won't even know it. You know, you'll be people be like, you know, I, why is this person doing this? You know, and you, you don't even know that you're doing it. These persons, these people don't got you to do things that are outside of your normal character was, was considered your normal character. You know, a soul tie could also sabotage future relationships, you know? So, you know how you, you, you thinking that you over a person and then you move on and then you still trying to dibble and dabble in with another person. That's a soul tie. So if you got somebody and they always cheating on you with somebody that they used to be with, they have a soul tie with that person. And because they have that soul tie with that person, they're not going to they're not going to stop cheating on you. You know, they have to break that soul tie pretty much or else they're going to continue to be going back to this person. They don't know why they're going back to this person either, you know. People are like, oh, you you made a choice. Yeah, you sure did make a choice, but there was also a spiritual pull on that choice as well, you know. So that's why that's why it's good to be completely cleansed and free of all of these different energies before you decide to take that into another relationship, ruining somebody else's lives, you know. So just take that into consideration next time you moving on, all right? Because a lot of people just like to jump to from different relationships to another one, to another one, to another one, never clearing up anything from the past relationship. So all of those problems present themselves in the new relationship. So that's another way that a soul tie could sabotage a future relationship. So just make sure, you know, you're really doing your what you need to do to free yourself of those energy all right but soul ties are so powerful like soul ties could have soul ties could pretty much have you broke all right 
out here looking crazy. These solar ties could, you know, lower your self-esteem, okay? They can lower your self-worth. They can ruin families. You know, you ever find yourself, you so connected to this soul tie that you find yourself doing things, again, outside of your normal. I'm talking about to the point to where you ready to die for something or you ready to go to jail behind something. You know, I see it all the time when I be watching TV. I see a lot of people, they be out here fighting, you know, fighting over these people that they used to be with. And that's because they got that soul tie, that strong soul tie. They feel like that, oh, this person... And to them, it look like they, they feel like they fighting over being respected or disrespected. But really, that, sto- that soul tie is so strong. It got you out here doing crazy stuff. Got you out here <laughs> fighting and doing all kinds of things that you probably wouldn't have done had you not created this soul tie with this person. You know, but it can ruin families in other ways, all right? And some of these soul ties are extremely hard to break right you can be in a toxic soul tie and you be like oh man you like some people can be in a toxic soul tie and not even know that they're in a toxic soul tie because they're not they're they're just so uh hypnotized or so they this soul tie has such a stronghold on them they just like whatever i'm put up with it just so i you know just so i can have somebody because this esteem is the self-esteem is already low so they just in in this thing just so they can say that they have somebody you know and some soul ties some of these toxic soul ties you want to be free from these soul ties but guess what you can't, and you don't, you don't know why you can't be free of these soul ties. And it's because these soul ties, they are so, you know, like I said, there's no such thing as casual sex. Or there's no such thing as, you know, um, I ain't creating no soul ties. Because you want to be free of this thing, but you can't because you spiritually connected to this thing. All right? But uh, there are a lot of times where... Um, you know, especially in domestic abuse cases, and people are like, why don't they just leave? Why don't they just get out of there? You know, that would be the logical programming for somebody that has been abused and that has, you know, you know, has been hurt or, you know, somebody is trying to kill them to just leave and never go back. But some of those soul ties, you guys, are so strong. They go back and they don't even know why they went back. They be sitting, they sitting in that relationship like, man, why did I go back to this? You know, why did I put myself back in this situation? Why am I putting myself back in this cycle? You know what I mean? But that's because that soul tie is so strong that they just, it just have this pull on them. And it's, the pull is so strong right the pull is so strong that it just pulled them right back into the same circumstances the same situation the same type of abuse so they're just like you know they just there they're just present you know but and especially if the soul that you tied to is stronger than your soul oh if that soul is stronger than your soul my goodness you know or sometimes we see people that meet people online or you know, like with the with the ninety day fiance or the 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 um, cause I see the ninety day fiance thing going across the screen. I watched I watched it a couple times on television. Um, or you know, you see these people meet on these dating websites, and when they meet, they have never physically met on these dating websites. But that soul tie, that intimate connection that they created is so strong. Have them going crazy as if they met each other already. Tell each other that they love them you know and they don't love each other you know they just that soul tie is just so strong that they feel like that they're in love or like these reality tv shows when these people are really in love with um the person that they're with and probably not even a reality tv show you could just look at like things around people around you you know you you meet a, you see your friend and you like dang she just met this dude 35 days ago how is she already in love a uh, dang he just met her 45 days ago how he already in love with her how they already you know living together and doing all these things it's because that soul tie to that person is so strong that you just find yourself doing things out of the ordinary all right so how do we identify it? Okay, so those examples that I gave you 
earlier about, you know, your friend moving in with somebody or it could have been you moving in with somebody all soon, too soon to, you know, really understand the character of a person. Um, or you see in those situations where a person obsessing over a person and then the next thing you know, 10 days later, they marry, right? But obsessing over a person and your thoughts, right? You just can't stop thinking about this person. So that's one way that you can identify. You just can't stop thinking about this person. Everything that that happens, everything that you do is just your thoughts surround this person. All right. Um, Daydreaming about the person or waking up thinking about them regularly, you know, you, like like your mind's just fixed on them. You just can't get your mind off of them for some strange reason. You don't know what it is. Um, imagining hearing from that person, like you want to hear their voice. You want to you you want to you want to um, talk to them even when you know they're not around. Um, you find yourself searching for them even when <laughs> you know you're searching for them even when they don't want to be found by you. All right. Um, you just may. Have see yourself behaving in a way that you just normally wouldn't behave like if you was in a regular relationship. You know what I mean? So you might do things differently for this person that you would have ever done um, in a normal relationship sooner than you would have done it. You know, so like you probably start having this person around your kids and cooking for them. And you probably wouldn't have got to that stage you know, probably for a year, two or three down the line, but yet you already have this soul connection with this person. So you feel open to doing that, you know, um, just acting strange, like behaving differently, you know, um, you might even think about contacting this person, even though this person did you wrong, right? You ever seen yourself in a situation where, like, you don't even really want to deal with that person, right? You don't want to deal with that person, but yet you texting this person. You calling this person. But you really don't have no interest in dealing with this person, right? That's because of that soul tie, all right? So you could have been broke up with a person and then some kind of way found yourself back with this person. And you like, I don't even know why I'm back with this person. I broke up with this person for a reason. And here I am back in this relationship, you know, so you don't find yourself breaking up with this person. And now you're finding yourself back in this relationship with this person. But you would have never done that any other time. And that's because of that soul tie. So that's um, how you identify. You just find yourself acting strange, acting abnormal, acting outside of what's considered normal to you. But how do you handle it when you're already in a soul tie? Y'all. That is a difficult one. And the reason why I say that is a difficult one, because most of the time when you are in a soul tie, you don't even realize that you in a soul tie until it is too late. All right. It is the storm has already hit by the time you even realize that you in one. All right. So um, I just I really can't say, I guess, you know, how you handle it when you in one. Once you wake up to recognize and being in one, then the steps that I'm going to tell you to remove yourself from one or break a soul tie is what you're going to have to do. All right. Because until you realize that you're in a soul tie, you going to be in a soul tie, you know. Um, so how do you remove or break the soul tie? First and foremost, like with everything, you have to acknowledge that you have a soul tie or that you have soul ties because there are a lot of times that we be like oh I don't have no soul tie with these people um yes you do if you lay with them you created soul ties with them and not only did you create soul ties with them you created soul ties with everybody that they had been with too all right so these are soul ties. And that's why a lot of times people be running into a state of depression. They don't know what they, why they mind tripping. They feeling crazy and they never felt that way before. You trying to wrestle with all these different energies. I told you everything is spir- spiritual and energy is transferable. All right. So we always exchange an energy when we create these interactions. Right. So that's why um, you need to understand um, that you no longer want to be in these soul ties all right so when you when you acknowledge that you have a soul tie 
you have to decide that you no longer want to feed that soul tie. You know, you no longer want to give that soul tie the energy that you would normally give it. So you have to release it. All right. Um, next, you cleanse yourself from the soul tie. And y'all already know, get you one of them good guided soul tie meditations. Next time you meditate with your coach, you tell them, hey, I want to break my soul tie. But see, when you're doing this meditation, you can't just do it alone, right? You can't just be sitting there doing your meditation and thinking that like, okay, boom, it's just going to leave. No, you got to come with your intentions set. You got to be ready to release this soul tie. And I also advise that you get you some ayahuasca tea, some ayah tea, um, or, you know, get you some ayah tea or get you some, you know, some kind of blue lotus tea, some chamomile tea, something, all right, um, that's going to help you. Some kind of uh, spiritual healing and spiritual emotional healing tea. Ayahuasca is the best spiritual and emotional healing tea out all right, it's also good for astro traveling and all that stuff. But the ayahuasca tea, that's going to be good for you, for you to do this. Also, do yourself a, a soul releasement meditation after that. Okay, so got to release the soul now. You break the soul tie, now you got to release it. Or you could do them combined. You're going to be sitting there for a long time, but it's, it's, all, it's all on you. All right, so do yourself a soul releasement meditation. Uh, while you're doing a yawny steam, if you're a woman, so if you're if you're a woman, do your soul releasement meditation while you're doing a yawny steam or a V steam, what people call it. That's for women. And if you are a male and you want to release a soul tie, you go ahead and um, do the same type of meditation with an A steam or a P steam. Okay. And so these steams will purify you. All right, and they're gonna detox you. So if you need an A steam or a V steam, a Yoni steam or a P steam, hit blended roots with a Z.com. They will custom make your steams for you based on your needs. So that's blended roots, R O O T Z dot com. And they will custom make your um, your steams for you. All right. So in order to break the soul tie. All right. You have to rid yourself of this soul tie. And when I say rid yourself of the soul tie, right, I'm talking about you got to get rid of everything relating to this soul tie, except the kids. I always got to mention, don't get rid of the kids. okay? but you got to get rid of everything that reminds you of this soul tie. I'm talking about removing them from your social media. okay? you got to remove them from your all them pictures you got of them in your phone. Go ahead and get rid of it. Your call log, block them, you know. And unless the court done told you um, that you have to talk to them on certain times, but you have to make it to where you only talk to them on them certain times. So you have to have the discipline to say, like, look, I'm not about to talk to this person on this certain until this time, you know. Or even just set it to where you block them up until the time that y'all got to communicate because y'all have to communicate for the kid on that time. So. Get them out of your call log. Any gifts that you got from them, trash them. What you holding on to the gifts for? Throw them away. Any pictures that you got of them, trash them. You know. And then when I talk about get rid of them, I'm talking about get rid of them without excuses. All right. Because if they gonna see their daddy, then you don't need to be holding pictures of their daddy. That just that's just my personal opinion about that. You know. Because oftentimes I hear that like, oh well, what if? What if the dad, what if they want to see the They can see the daddy. If ain't no custody agreement in the dad, then they can see the dad. You know, but like a picture, ain't they ain't going to make no difference. Or if you must keep the picture of the daddy, make a keepsake box for the child and put it away. Don't be you going yourself over there. Oh, I remember when. And make sure when you do the keepsake stuff, it's keepsake stuff for the child. Not for your own, uh, you know, for your own trip down memory lane. Because you know how it go. But you have to get rid of them without excuses. All right? Especially, like, what it look like you move into a new relationship and you still got the old person that you used to deal with on your on your platforms. Like, get rid of them completely. All right? Um, once you release them, 
you know, you just got to come to terms with it. Like, all right, I released this mug. Like, this person is gone. All right. And so I want to tell y'all that soul ties, because it's metaphysical, it's because it's spiritual, right? When you start doing your A steam, B steams, P steams, Yoni steams, doing your releasing work, these mugs going to show back up. Okay. They're going to show, like, you probably ain't heard from them in years or maybe a year or months. Then next thing you know, as soon as you start releasing them, they feel the disconnect and they start contacting you. All right. So when that happens, when that happens, some it may happen, some it may not, because some of y'all might have change y'all numbers and stuff. But if it does happen, all I want you to do is remember these words. Do not feed that energy. It's kind of like when you give a parasite sugar, it continues to grow. Do not feed the energy. If they say, hey, how you doing? Long time no here. Don't respond. Do not respond. Because the moment you respond, then it's going to turn into something else and something else and something else. And then that shows that weakness. And that shows that now we still have these security issues that we got to deal with. You know, so just don't feed the energy. All right. Just continue to go through your release. All right. And be happy that you released them. Okay, so that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the segment today on Soul Ties. If you did, if you're on the Anchor app, go ahead and you can leave me some comments. Also, follow me on Spirit Soul Energy Dash Oracle on YouTube and Spirit Soul Oracle on Instagram. Peace.